Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And today we're gonna be talking about the best budget hoop shoes, right? So if you guys do wanna save some money because money's pretty tight nowadays, you know what I mean? Everything's so dang expensive, especially hoop shoes. Uh, inflation, they're just raising the prices like crazy. I don't know what's going on. Like you guys know the Jaw One, when it came out it was 110 bucks, but some of the colorways right now are 140 bucks, which is crazy. You know what I mean? A lot of the colorways are like 130 bucks. So I don't know what went on there. What are, we, what are you guys doing, Nike? You know what I mean? Uh, but if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I try to leave them a link in the description box. And if you do choose to uh, get any of these shoes, it does help me out if you do uh, buy it through the link. So of course, thank you guys so much for all the support. Or also you can get it uh, through the actual like product pictures underneath this video as well, right? Or on the kind of like the like the corners, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, the budget kind of like where it ends for me in this video is 120 bucks. Uh, 130 bucks kind of, you know what I mean? I used to have the cutoff at 120 bucks, um, but because inflation, because they're raising the prices for everything, I feel like I have to kind of like go to 130 bucks, you know what I mean? But obviously if you don't want to spend that much, just don't get that shoe, even though it's on this list, you know what I mean? There's a lot of other shoes on this list that are around the 100 bucks, you know? But anyways, let's get it started right off with the Wade Flash. And I recently got this shoe and I've been playing in it a lot. And that should tell you something. I've been playing in it a lot. You know, I haven't been bringing backup shoes. I actually enjoy playing that shoe a lot. And it's one of my favorite hoop shoes to hoop in right now. And it's only a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? So the traction is really, really good. Also the cushion is really, really nice. And that's one thing that a lot of companies kind of like cut back on is cushion because uh, it, the shoe lacks tech. And because the shoe lacks tech, uh, it doesn't have good cushion, especially for cheaper shoes. But the Wade Flash for a hundred bucks has really nice cushion. It's using Cloud Plus foam, it has nice compression in the heel, and also the, the soft mesh strobe that they're using is really nice for step and comfort. The, the ventilation is really good too. It's a really thin material. Overall support is adequate too. So I really like playing the Wade Flash. So. And it's a great looking shoe too. And the colorways that are coming out, Look great too. So there is the Wade Flash. Next, we got the Way of Wade Fission 9. So the Fission 9 is specifically made for outdoor use, but you can also play with it on an inner court. The traction overall is really nice, especially if you're playing on a clean court. However, it does pick up a little bit of dust. Cushion also is really nice. You know, you have a good amount of compression in the heel and also uh, the mesh showboard is really, really soft. The upper with the textile is super supportive and really nice of quality for the price. So there is the Fission 9. Also, as you guys all know, the Way of Wade 808 3 is really nice. It's only 120 bucks, but sometimes it's on sale for like 100 to 110 bucks. But yeah, the 808 3 is selling out really quickly and there's not a whole lot of colorways and they don't usually restock on colorways and also on shoes. So you guys should definitely go ahead and check that shoe out. It has a drop in midsole. It reminds me a lot of older Kobe's like the Kobe 8, Kobe 9, Kobe 11 with the drop in midsoles. So yeah, the 8083, really, really nice and even better price, right? Next, we got uh, the AE1 for $120. You know what I mean? The cushion is absolutely amazing. Uh, we got Jet Boost and you have a softer strobe board and also a cutout in the heel, which makes it like the step and cover really nice, especially in the heel. Traction is top tier, supports great. It is heavy, but it's a really responsive shoe. It's a great looking shoe too. So the AE1 for 120 bucks, I definitely feel like is way better than like the Hardens, you know what I mean? It has like pretty much the same exact tech as the Harden Volume 8, but the Harden Volume 8 is like 160 bucks. So anyways, AE1, uh, the tech that you're getting and also for the performance, 120 bucks is really, really nice. All right, next we got the Adidas Don Issue 5. Uh, it's a solid shoe. It's definitely not one of my top performers, but the Don Issue 5, uh, honestly, is really nice. You know what I mean? It's 120 bucks. Traction is really solid, you know? It's not the best, uh, but once you break it in, it does have good stops. Uh, the cushion with the full length light strike is nice, it's comfortable. Uh, they do have a pretty stiff strobe board, which I don't like, so step and cover is the best, but uh, once you break it in, it does get pretty soft, you know? And then the upper is extremely supportive. I'm not a huge fan of the actual upper material because it's stiff and a little thick, but once you break it in, it does get a little bit nicer. So Don Shoe 5 honestly is a pretty good option. All right, next, even an even better option for 120 bucks is the Jaw One for 120 to 140 bucks. Weird, you know what I mean? But anyways, uh, 
It's a really, really nice performer. Traction is top tier. Cushion, top loaded for the zoom unit, which feels great and bouncy. Has nice compression in the heel as well. Uh, has a good amount of padding in the back of the shoe, which makes it feel cozy, but the upper in the toe box is really thin, but also the overall shoe is super duper supportive. So there is the jaw one. Next, we got the Giannis Immortality 3 for only $85, right? So it's, what a, it's the cheapest shoe on this list, 85 bucks, but uh, the cushion is super lacking. The cushion sucks. So uh, if you want a little bit of cushion, you, you can spend like what, 15 more dollars and get any of the, like the weight flash, for example, you know? Uh, but if you're really trying to save money, Immortality 3 is a really responsive shoe. Traction is solid, uh, upper is super thin, and uh, overall support is adequate as well. So Immortality 3 is a pretty nice uh, shoe, right? Next we got the GT Cut Academy for $95 which is a really, really good price. And if you want a really responsive shoe, that's one of the best shoes to get, right? So traction is top tier. It's one of the best stops that you can get from any hoop shoe. Also the cushion is, they're using full length Renew. It's using a bottom loaded zoom in it. So the, the zoom in it doesn't, you can't really feel it, but uh, the Renew, you know, especially in the heel is pretty dang nice. The upper, especially for the quality is pretty nice for the price. You know what I mean? It supports great and all that. So uh, the GT Cut Academy is pretty nice. All right, next we got the Anta Zap One. So it's available on Fumuji for only 120 bucks. And the cushion uh, for 120 bucks is absolutely amazing. I'd even say it's a little bit better than the AE1, right? So it's using full length and two foam, but then also it's using a soft mesh stroboard, board. So it's really nice for step in comfort. And uh, the AE1, it doesn't really have a lot of compression from the actual midsole, right? But the Zap One has nice compression from the actual midsole and it's lighter. Is thinner for the material, but uh, still adequate for support. So I love the Zap one. All right, next we got the New Balance 2-Way V4 for 120 dollars You know what I mean? So the 2-Way V4 is a solid all around, really good shoe. You know what I mean? Traction, it's just nothing's really like top tier for me uh, in my personal opinion, right? So traction solid, but not top tier. Cushion is solid, you know, but not top tier because uh, it's just a little bit higher up off the ground, which I don't like. And also the stroke board is pretty stiff. You know what I mean? Like once you break it in, it does get softer, of course, and all that. But then like comparing to like a soft mesh stroke board from like the, the Zap one and stuff like that, it's not as soft. The upper is nice, but you know, the quality isn't the greatest, you know? So uh, yeah, the 284 is solid, but not the best, right? All right, next we got the Rigor AR1. The AR1 is only a hundred bucks and one of the best shoes of the past year, in my personal opinion. Uh, it's definitely a little bit stiffer and a little bit more rigid as far as the, like how the overall shoe feels, but the traction, it has one of the best tractions of the past year. The cushion also, it's a little bit stiff, but then there is a nice little compression from the actual midsole and the heel. And also it has a nice soft mesh stroke board, which makes it uh, a little bit better, you know what I mean? For, especially for step and comfort. The upper actually has pretty nice quality, especially with like the cords and stuff like that. Uh, it's they're like pretty thin, but very supportive. I do like the kind of like boost pellets that are in the tongue as well. So, oh yeah, for a hundred bucks, you're getting really good tech. Um, but yeah, there are some shoes uh, on this list that are above 120 bucks, which I kind of like, if you want to spend a little bit more money, but you want still a really nice shoe, uh, here is here it is, right? We got the Anta Kai one for 125. It's only $5 above the limit above the budget. So yeah, Kai one is just like the Zap one, but a little bit more or, or more plush. You know what I mean? For the cushion, more plush for the upper as well. Uh, like I love the padding in the back of the shoe. It's super duper comfortable. The cushion also is like one of the most comfortable cushioning setups that you can get right now. It has a really thick N2 foam with a soft mesh showboard and it has a lot of compression in the heel too. Traction is really good. It's very, very consistent. Uh, and support's great. So yeah, we got the Kai one. Next, of course, we got the Sabrina one, as you guys all know, for 130 bucks. You can ID it for a little bit more money. It's also on sale for like 100 bucks, which I've seen a lot of colorways on sale. So um, yeah, 130 bucks, you get really nice traction. The traction is a little iffy on dust, it does pick up a little bit of dust, but it's not affected by dust that much. And uh, cushion's really nice with the full length React and top loaded four foot zoom unit. The opera with the textile is actually really nice for the quality. Although as far as like durability, it doesn't feel like it'll last very long. Uh, but yeah, Sabrina one is a really nice performer. And of course we got the Freak 5 as well. I really like playing the Freak 5 and the Freak 5 performs very similarly 
to the jaw one and sabrina one but it's around 130 to 140 bucks you know but the cushion is also really nice top loaded form with zoom in it we got a uh, nice compression in the heel but also it feels bouncier than the jaw one the jaw one's just more soft uh the sabrina one is definitely the bounciest and the freak five still has uh, it's soft but it has a nice little bounce uh the overall upper is super supportive although the quality isn't the greatest especially with that synthetic leather material uh but the freak five i really did enjoy playing in that shoe so anyways uh, as far as my favorite shoes on this entire list goes uh, all these are really nice but i do have my favorite i got a top five right so uh we got the wade flash for 100 bucks i've really loved playing in that shoe uh next we got the ae1 right and then the zap one the ar1 in the Kai one. Those are like my favorite shoes to hoop in right now as far as like budget shoes go on this list, you know? But anyways, that about wraps it up. I hope this video helped you guys out, especially if you're trying to save money. And uh, again, if you guys do want to copy any shoes, I try to leave them feeling in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.